Danish fruit salad with chocolate. Diana Demmerk here, ra ra ra. I am a routines coach, a huga expert. I'm here in Copenhagen, Denmark. And today I'm in the kitchen. I've got a little video for you where I'm showing you how to make Danish fruit salad. And yes, it contains chocolate. So wash your hands, uh, get your pinny on, get your apron on and uh, let's take a wee look at it. And we're only using a few ingredients. First up, let me just give you a little close up of the beautiful lilacs from our garden. Obviously, we're going to need some fruit and today I've got some strawberries. These are Spanish strawberries. The Danish ones aren't quite in season yet. I've got some grapes, I've got some blueberries, also some apples. I will uh, peel, core and chop up uh, one of the apples. You can use, of course, banana, you can use pear. If you're going to be serving it many hours later or the next day, then it's best to stay away from, from um, a fruit that will discolour. And the other ingredients are a vanilla cream. Now we can buy this ready-made, but don't worry, I have alternatives for you. And in the vanilla cream, usually it will contain uh, cream and vanilla and often pasteurised uh, egg yolks. That's the way you can make it yourself. But don't worry, as I said, I've got alternatives for you. And the other star of the show is the chocolate. Now you've seen a video, I've made a video about this before. This is our breakfast chocolate. I know a lot of you were intrigued by that. Here are little slices of chocolate that we put on our bread. And you can use any type of chocolate for this where we're just chopping it up and adding it to, to the salad. I've tried quite a few different chocolates making this, um, but the one that I like best is just to use a regular bar of milk chocolate. I wouldn't go for anything too fancy because it is not a fancy dessert, this one. And the name of this dish, the alternative name is Ebemil, which means monkey food. And my kids used to love getting this dessert at the after school club and then they would come home and say, Mum, Mum, can we, can we make it the weekend? Right, I've got everything chopped up and I'll just take out the apple core for the squirrels. Our, our red garden squirrels, they, they love apple cores. When I'm making these kind of desserts, I always like to get out my crystal bowls. We got these when we got married 23 years ago. We, we got a lot of Edinburgh crystal and they're, they're just really nice for, for desserts like this. Anyway, I, I've got the fruit in there. I'm just, I'm just making, making a small portion. This will do me for my lunch and for my afternoon snack. Uh, and next we're going to mix in the vanilla cream. And you don't need a spoon with a funny face, but it's nice to have. Okay, let's mix it together. And here comes the cream. Mmm. There we go, that should do. And then the final thing is to add in the chopped chocolate. And you can obviously use as little or as much as you like. And I'm using Marabou, the uh, Swedish stuff. Here we are, good to go. Not sure, maybe I'll just eat that. I think that's probably enough chocolate. And then I would cover it and put it in the fridge until you are ready to eat. Or maybe you want to eat it right now. Now, as I said, if you can't buy the vanilla cream where you are, don't worry, I have alternatives for you. You could use some pasteurized egg yolks, whip those up with a little bit of sugar, and then mix them into some cream, add some vanilla, vanilla powder, or uh, crushed vanilla in there. That, that gives a really nice flavour and that will bring you quite close to, to the Danish uh, variation that we have. Or the super simple alternative is to take some really good vanilla ice cream and let it melt and mix that in. It's, it's going to give you the same effect and I can, I can re recommend a really good ice cream because Years ago, I went to Michelin starred restaurant here in Copenhagen. It was a French chef, and we were, you know, we were in the kitchens, and they were showing us how to make desserts. And the the chef said to us that when he was at home, 
when he was having his off day and he didn't want to make his own ice cream from scratch. This is the one that he went for, Carte d'Or, uh, the vanilla, plain vanilla. He thought it was almost as good as the one that he made himself. So, if, but any kind of ice, vanilla ice cream will do. Just let it melt, mix it in with your fruit and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed having a wee look at our Danish Hygge fruit salad. Uh, Fortsalet, Ebemil as it's also called, monkey food. Do you have something similar where you are? Maybe you've got exactly the same, the same thing in your country or maybe you're thinking, Ooh, cho chocolate in a fruit salad. Uh, if you haven't tried it before, give it a whirl. Let me know how you get on. And all I've got left to say is, because you know me, I'm heading outdoors with, with a wee plate of this right now. Live long prosper. May the Danish hygge be with you. And I'll see you very soon with a ra ra ra.